Death Valley is the largest national park in the lower 48 United States. It protects more than 3.3 million acres along the California-Nevada border. But look closely at a map, and you'll notice there are 40 additional acres, 60 miles from everything else. Far down this lonely gravel road, you'll find this extra piece of the park. They call it Devil's Hole. A trip to Devil's Hole feels like you've discovered a supervillain's lair. It is in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by this imposing barbed wire fence. There are security cameras and wind speed monitors, all for a hole in the ground. If something seems a little fishy, well, that's because it is. The Devil's Hole pupfish became one of the first listed species to the Endangered Species Preservation Act in 1967, which became the Endangered Species Act. The Devil's Hole pupfish is one of the rarest fish in the world, and this hole in the desert is the only place you can find it. It's actually considered the smallest habitat known for a vertebrate species in the world. So it's about 10 feet in width and about 60 feet in length, and they use about the top 20 feet where algae grows and the food's available. Kevin Wilson is an aquatic ecologist in the driest place in North America. When we walk down here, just be careful of your footing. But thousands of years ago, this whole region was covered in water. And that's likely how the pupfish arrived at Devil's Hole. It's still, we're still trying to figure it out. It still has us asking questions and thinking of, you know, why and how. So it's, it's, a, it's a special place. It gets me up in the morning and coming to work. This morning is especially exciting. It's fish counting day. I got the O2 analyzer all calibrated for you guys. Twice a year, a group of divers spends a weekend heading into the hole to count. Did you bring your special flashlight today? The fish are in constant danger of extinction. We actually reached an ultimate low, all-time low, of 35 observable fish in the spring of 2013. While most of the fish can be counted from the surface, for the cave divers, it's a risky endeavor. In the 1960s, two teenagers died while exploring Devil's Hole. Their bodies were never recovered. Nobody actually knows how deep this hole goes. We know that divers uh, have been down to 436 feet. They did not see a bottom. Devil's Hole is an aquifer. The 93 degree water here runs underneath this entire region which pits farmers in search of water against environmentalists fighting for pupfish survival. And it was a private company that drilled a well, and as soon as they turned on the well, the water in Devil's Hole started to decline, and so did the population. So conservationists, there was a federal government task force, really raised the alarm. It was a landmark case that went all the way to the Supreme Court in 1976, the farmers versus the fish. When the fish won and the pumping was regulated, it led to a lot of resentment. There are people that are really anti-pupfish because it does regulate water rights and development in the area, and people have threatened saying, let's just throw a couple of bottles of bleach in here. Oh, so no. <laughs> well, we do have to be careful. Hence the barbed wire and the cameras. Not long after my visit, surveillance video captured three locals breaking in to skinny dip. Beer and vomit were found in the water. Fortunately, only one pupfish was killed. It could have been a lot worse, which is why there's a second devil's hole. In case they go extinct in the wild, we've got our backup right here. Luke Oliver is part of a team of researchers raising the pupfish in captivity in a building just a mile from their natural habitat. There's cattails growing in there, plenty of algae. That's the facility was designed to replicate the conditions of devil's hole and cost $4.5 million, which may seem like a lot of money to save a tiny little fish. But for Kevin Wilson, the pupfish are just as important as the bald eagle. They're a beautiful fish. They're very inquisitive. Whenever we enter the water to go diving, there are fish that will come up to us and swim in front of our mask. And so we can learn from this species. In a region so inhospitable to life, they named it Death Valley, these tiny fish are still managing to survive.